It's Kev here with KevWestBeats.com, here to answer a question actually I saw on the Reason for Powerheads um, user forums um, by user forum Les Pasta. Um, this is a direct um, question that he asked. I told him I'd make a video for his question, and I think this will probably be useful for a lot of other people too. Um, the question, um, while I know he's asking about um, a specific piece of, of hardware to work with Reason, that's just not how the hardware works. It's actually a button function. The buttons actually send out MIDI outputs. So you can so what it is is you actually assign those buttons to MIDI parameters. And um, I'm going to read the actual question here. He says MPD32 buttons S1 to S8. Can these buttons be reprogrammed to browse patches and toggle between devices? The first que answer the first question: No. Um, and I personally want to see that feature in Reason 2. I have yet to see a way that you can actually pull up devices without using the mouse or or the insert key to bring up the um, patch browser. Um, those are the only two ways that I know how to actually do it. You can't physically do it from a MIDI controller. However, you can browse patches. And what I'm going to show you how to do in this video is actually how to assign those to your um, MIDI controller. Um, I'm not used to um, using my M Audio uh, Oxygen 49 keyboard. However, the process is the same. I did this on my MPK 40, uh, not 49, 25. I set this up on my um, Radium 49 when I had it. I set it up on my buddy's MPD 32 and um, another person's MPD 26 and I'm on MPD 24 as well. It's MIDI. MIDI is MIDI. It's going to work. Um, so anyway, I want to give you guys just a quick look at the question asked here so you see where I'm coming from and what this is about. Um, next, let's go into Reason. All right, now we're in Reason. And if you see, and what I'm going to do now is to actually set up this button. I already have it kind of preset in there anyway. You're going to want to go into Options. From Options, you're going to want to go into Remote Override Edit Mode. Or excuse me, Additional Remote Overrides. Here we go. And now what you're going to actually want to do, and if you see here, there is a selection here, select previous patch uh, for target device and select next patch for target device. You're going to want to toggle each of these. As you see, I already have mine preset to my Oxygen 49. Click edit. Click learn from the control surface input. And then it's just as simple as pushing the button for the device that you want it to work with. I pushed button one again, but just show you this works. I push button nine. It would now this would now be set up to button nine, but I want to set up to button one. So you press that, click OK, and then you're gonna press the second one and do it again. Same process. Anytime you want to get rid of those, you just press clear, but I don't want to do that. Then you press X, and I'll just show you how it works in action. I'll pull up a factory preset sound. You see here the combinator, and I press F or button two on my controller. And as you see, it pulls up a new device. Push it against the next device. If I want to go back, I push button one. And it pulls up that device. And that's how it works on all of the reason devices. An important thing to note here, it only works on your target device. So you see here I'm in the sequencer, and that's actually where you need to be. The sequencer track has to be highlighted, or else it's only going to work with the sequencer track that is highlighted. What that also means is that unless you create a sequencer track for say an effect, you can um, browse effects patches without doing so. Because again, it has to be the target device. Anyway, I hope this helps somebody out. Unless I really hope this